sharing with you guys basically my routine after I come home from work so today is Monday I just got off of work I just took a shower real quick and now I am in the kitchen I'm about to cook dinner before I cook dinner I'm actually going to throw a load of clothes in the wash but I basically wanted to share my routine with you guys um, because there it's a lot of moms that work in the office can you guys see me yeah there's a lot of moms that actually work in the office and they constantly you know dm me and ask me you know, how do i balance could you do a video on how you balance what's your routine so i'm like you know what that would be perfect it'll be a different type of video kind of of me just going into detail of basically how i balance i don't have it all figured out guys i would be lying to you if i say i do i don't not by a long shot but sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't depending on my schedule so mondays are the day that i kind of like to get caught up on my laundry because i'm not gonna lie in the summertime i'm real relaxed on laundry cooking every day i don't do all that every day because one it's the summer two it's too damn hot so um let me throw this in a wash real quick hold on all right y'all i'm done washing clothes but yeah what i was saying was i'm not really on a strict routine during the summer like i am for back to school time when it's back to school time i run a tight ship i just collect all electronics sundays at five they can't be on no electronics through the week they get them on fridays they're in the bed by eight they gotta be asleep by nine all tvs off and everything by nine so i have my menu down i have my laundry routine down but right now we just go with the flow but because the kids are about to go to school within two weeks i'm slowly transitioning i start next week the 21st they that's that's literally two weeks before the kids go back to school so starting next week the kids have to start going back to sleep i mean you know going to sleep at nine o'clock uh, yeah, so this is something that I do while I'm at work. Let me just share this with you guys. Um, I write down my must-do list. Let me see if you guys can see it. Hold on. And these are all the things that I have to do before I go to bed. And so must-do list, wash three loads. So I, I just washed one load. I have to just wash the whites. And then I have our good clothes that I need to wash, which will be hung up. I can hang that up once it's done washing. So that's not going to really take me long. Um, put all the clothes up. I have to fold my husband's clothes. Um, I'm going to supervise and help the kids fold their clothes. And make sure they put it in their drawers neatly. Because I just cluttered, decluttered and organized their whole drawers. Um, cook. That's what I'm about to do now. Let the kids read to me for 25 minutes each. And then just relax. So I don't have that much to do. And then the rest of the week. I don't. All the laundry will be done. I still have to cook a little, just something small. I don't cook a whole lot during the week because Tuesday through Friday, I have extra activities, extra curriculum, take the kids to all their little sports and their swimming and all that type of stuff. So Monday is really my chill, relax day. And yeah, so I'm about to cook now. And then after that, we are going to fold some clothes real quick. And I also want to measure for the dining room because I'm thinking I need 120 for the table, but then I'm thinking I may not. So I kind of want to start measuring so that way, probably in October, I can order the dining room set or even late September, I can order the dining room set. 
I'm still trying to debate what, like what um, chairs I want. And I honestly don't know. But yeah, I'm making chicken alfredo. So I'm about to make some chicken alfredo. And then that's it. all right kitchen is clean everyone ate i'm about to help cairo fold his clothes come on cairo first he don't want to come on the faster we can do it the faster we be done so you better come on come on cairo the faster we do the faster we do it the faster we be done come on Hey guys, happy Tuesday. <sighs> Y'all, I just got home. Just whipped up some dinner real quick. It's currently 7.36, so Kyle's getting the trash together. And what we're about to do is measure for a dining room table because you know, our age prices is just keep creeping up, creeping up. And at this point, I just feel like I'm about to look for another table from somewhere else, to be honest. Because my friends, I can't see it, so I gotta raise this light back up. You say hello? Oh, hi. <laughs> look, mommy. So dirty. Don't mind my shirt. All right, y'all, so. I was thinking I was going to need 120 inches in here. And I'm like, do I really need 120? So I'm about to measure again. I measured before. I thought like that was the perfect size, but now that I have the actual rug, I can actually really, I can actually, I can really see, you know, what size I need. Penny, the friends haven't seen you. Penny, say hi, everybody. My donkey dog. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she don't like you. Get her, Penny. Get her. <laughs> Watch. Have y'all ever heard Penny growl this thing? Penny is mean. She do not be feeling like these kids. Okay, so let me. All right, Cairo, you. You, did you do upstairs trash cans? Yeah. Well, you're not done, brother. Okay. All right. Let's go. Right. Put yeah. you guys over here because I don't. I don't feel like going upstairs to get my trash pack. So let's see. Mahala, go ahead. Go clean the kitchen, and that's it. I'm not playing. Go ahead. Mom, I did clean. All right. Go wipe the table. Go. Watch out. Let me do what I need to do. All right, so they got a table that's 98 inches, I think. So let's test it out. Oh, look at that! Why should they trick you like that? Why would you go out there looking and make that's a spider? What? Make you think what's a spider? Alright, 
make sure that's the right size hold on okay guys so this is what the table looks like this is what the table looks like and the sizes they have is let's see we're gonna do the black oak and then the size oh what is wrong with this phone <coughs> Hold on, y'all. The fact that this phone always getting stuck. Oh my goodness. Okay. So they have 72 to 120, meaning 72 is the regular table, but it can extend to 120, which this is what it looks like when it's extended. So, oh goodness, I'm about to show y'all text messages and stuff. Okay, so this is what the table looks like, but when you extend the table, it looks like that, which to me, I don't like. I thought you already got one of those. Do you like this? No. So that's what the table look like extended. Now if I want it extended, I can just get the regular one and then just extend it to it. But if I want the table to look like <laughs> this, I'm thinking I need to get a size probably maybe 108 let's let's see 108 Mahalo, can you help me come on stay right here this is the main thing i'm worried about is the two chandeliers i just want the table to extend out just a tad bit more so it's not like you guys see how here's the chandelier and the table is not over the table so let's try to stay right here so stand. Right. Me and Samara was watching your room. We're gonna go 108. Dang, that's a little bit more. This is. Yeah, back up a little bit. We might not even need 108. We might need. What was the next one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't be paying attention to what you're talking about. Girl, stop talking like that. <laughs> she talking like she from from the country. Okay, ninety six is the next one. That's because the people who eat like that, I be watching them talk like that. Oh, uh, let me tell y'all, Mahila, what's the name of that family you be watching? What family? <laughs> that be eating. Kadidra Dion? No. Uh, the the girl who be eating? Yeah. Uh, her name was like Ju Juana or something. <laughs> Yo, Mahayla? J U N A E. Okay, let's try 96. Y'all need to watch her. I think we can do 96. I love watching her opening. 96 is good. Let me see who they all saw. I be watching their opening. Is this, is that? Hmm? I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm not, I don't even know what we're measuring the bench or something. Mahila, I'm trying to measure the dining room table. And I have to make sure. Mahila, the, the, the color of the mirror. I need to make sure that these light fixtures. So let's are break going. it up. Let's look notch. Let's see. Is it past it or not? Yes. Is past that light fixture? Yes. What's a light fixture? The light chandelier, light? chandelier, child. It's a big table. Just, what, this table? Yes. What is it? Like the whip? Oh, good. That's, that's a good one. All right, so 98 is fine. Let me see. What do you mean that's a good one? Mom, you're going to hurt yourself. Hold on. Good job. I heard that one time when I seen it on the back. Yeah. It died. It's about to die. All right, so I think I can do 98, y'all. 
and yeah, this is what I was thinking about the sideboard but I don't want to do glass because my TV console my media upstairs is glass and I want you know something different plus when I put all my dishes and everything I want to be able this to is, hide you know so like let me show you guys we're gonna be like mom's house. Oh, it's so dark in this dark house. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. The lighting. I don't know what you're talking about because these lights gonna blind you. All right. So. Oh, my blinds. I'm gonna ask. Let me show you. Hold on. Rip me out the plaster. I've been acting brand new. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Rip this is out. the sideboard. What is that? We need glass. No, I don't want glass. Hmm? But you need to go see the plates to make sure which one you want. Mine. <laughs> I'm going to know which one. All right, and the sizes they have in this is. Oh, this size. Wait, are we even going to use them plates inside of there? I don't know. Sam is calling. My little artist. I love this picture of her. Me All right, so the sideboard is 80 inches. Come on, Hilo. Come on, let's go, y'all. The camera's about to die. All right, stand there. But this is my thing. The table's going to be 98, and this is 80. Isn't that going to look stupid? Here, here, here. Because the camera's about to die. I'm, I'm over it. Go, I am go, over it. Go do something with your life. Because you just bored and you just trying to pick on us. To be honest. Who are you talking about? <laughs> oh my God. But what I was about to say to you. If you're thinking about commenting something smart, just don't say it. Oh, somebody just... said something about Mahila. <laughs> what that lady say? Like, oh, somebody was like, um, your daughter needs to know how to control herself. Yeah. I dare you. Comment again. Future reference, please. Comment again. My house. I'm gonna find your house. I'm gonna find your. <laughs> this little girl. But listen. Everything. Please don't say nothing about my kids. Cause then we. Cause that's where we're gonna cross the line. And we're gonna fight, y'all. Be quiet. Oh. Do not say nothing about my children, my husband. Like period. Like it's just rude when you talk about people's kids. Like, and where your common sense that we need to send an ember alert for that. <laughs> but seriously, it's just oh my god! If y'all see the type of comments it's I get sometimes, and then, and then it makes me want to just delete YouTube me. sometimes. Then you to the people because it's just like don't worry, I saw y'all. I don't know. I'm not even going to get into it. But I gotta change this darn battery. To the loo. All right, guys. Of course, it's a lot later. Me and Mahila just made some cookies. But I'm about to close out this vlog because it's Tuesday. I need to edit. This video was supposed to be so much more than what it was. I was supposed to show you guys how I like do my little nightly um, tidy. But it didn't happen at all. I'm trying to turn the light on. Hold on, y'all. But yeah, it didn't happen because these darn, I had to take the kids to their extracurriculums. And by the time I came home, I cooked. I didn't have no time. But um, I did figure out I'm going to get a 96-inch dining table and 80-inch sideboard. But I'm not buying that no time soon because... I'm trying to, oh, sorry. I'm trying to, um, okay. I'm trying to, uh, get this hutch. And then once I get the hutch, I can work on the dining room table. But,
I found, I found, I found. Can y'all see me? Cause I'm not about to talk if y'all don't, y'all can't see me. Here we go. Okay. I find myself just trying to move on to the next thing instead of being grateful and being in a moment of like the great room is almost done. I have the couch. I'm happy. It's like, okay, I have the couch. What's next? What's next? What's next? And I think a part of that is because I'm just tired of spending money and I just want to hurry up and be done with it. But at the same time, it's like, am I enjoy what you have? Enjoy the process. It's okay. Enjoy the process. Take your time. Because I'm not even going to lie, y'all. I was about to not even decorate for fall and Halloween or Christmas. Because I'm like, I just want to be done my house. It's like, as soon as I get to the point where I'm almost done now, here come the holidays. And I'm like, something was like, it's okay. There's no rush. I feel like it's just the world make us feel like we need to like hurry up. And again, it could just be me. I wanna produce content, wanna have content, wanna finish my house. But it's like, it's okay. Take a break from the house stuff, decorate for fall, decorate for Halloween, decorate for Christmas, and then you can go back to your house stuff. I don't know. It's probably me just overthinking, but it's just at the same time, I'm tired of spending money. So I just want to hurry up and be done. Like all I need is the hutch, the dining room table, the sideboard, the dining room chairs, and whatever little decor I'm gonna do to decorate it. I'm still waiting on my chandelier that should be delivered in October and I'm still waiting on my lamps in here and then the great room is completed I just want to get to a sense of completion for as the furniture of course I have so many other projects to do in our home but I'm not worried about that I just want the furniture and I'm good so um that's what I think it is it's just I want to be done I'm tired of spending money on furniture like I am but the type of person that I am, I want it to be done. Like, I need it to be completed. And I hate that I'm like that because it bothers me so bad. So, but yeah. So I just say all that to say, just enjoy the moments, guys. Don't feel rushed. Don't make, um, you know, anything make you rush or feel like you need to be doing more. Think about that, oh, update. Remember I was gonna get the trim work done for the living room and the dining room? Well, finally found another company from my neighbor. She told me to contact this guy, not guy, a company called Trim Work. And they're, <clears throat> I have a virtual appointment with them tomorrow, so. I hope that goes good. I think I'm just ready to spend money on the things I want to spend money on. And that's just buying me a couple things because we all deserve. I work hard. I work hard. I deserve nice things. But I just feel bad buying something so expensive and it could have been like my dining room table or something like that and that's just me that's my preference I'm not saying if you do that is anything wrong with it not by a long shot it's just me personally like my preference is to just buy the things I need to buy and then I can splurge on myself but all right until next time Hopefully, it'll be a better vlog. My Wednesday vlog's always gonna suck because I'm in the mix of working and stuff like that. I don't have the energy. My Sunday vlog is always better vlogs. So yeah, bye. I belong here.